Colosimo who stayed alert. That yeah, was well read from Colosimo. Not only Robbie Fowler, that's a huge name in world football, but also Jelic has played in the Bundesliga. Not a bad for a debut. Howard swings it deep. Fowler challenged by Heffernan, and it's Heffernan who got the final touch. Fowler skips away, clips it. Looking for Yelich. Gary challenged by Thompson, and the referee's seen a foul. Oh, well, that was brilliant from Fowler. And look, it's only a glimpse, but you do get that with Fowler of his quality. Down this right hand side, he checked three times to get the ball. They expected him just to lay it back to the thrower. Received a turn, shaped across it, and it's just a little nutmeg through Heffner, and he's on his way. Just didn't get it underneath that enough to get it to the back post, but. Absolute class. Neville. Hamill cuts it out. Here's Fowler. Howarth, Yelich is clearly offside, has to check the run. And uh, Todd Howarth got his wires badly crossed there. Yeah, he was looking for Fowler, but it was a very difficult ball. 30, 30 metres away from the byline. But Gary not too happy because he made a 30 metre overlapping run and was ignored. Verm. Terra. Thompson. by coin only as far as Shroy well, it was a rather ambitious attempt by Nick Kelmar he's, he's given it the shin never there to hit was it <laughs> Verm Seabon Good use of the body by Branko Jelic. Now McGarry. Here's Fowler. Plays the one-two with Shroy. Cheeky back heel. McGarry. Now Pellegrino. Swung in by Fowler. He was looking for Jelic. And it's an own goal. Michael Moroni, who knew very little about it, has put the ball into his own net. Well, it's a brilliant ball in from Robbie Fowler. It's a wicked ball. He's looking for Yelich. He just takes one touch. He gets a ball from Pellegrino, just gets it out of his feet here, makes half a yard, whips this in with pace. Comes off the top of, I think, Yelich's head. Moroni, unfortunately, can't adjust his body quick enough. In fact, it comes off Colosimo. Hamill, it is. Not Brendan Hamill. It's Brendan Hamill blaming Moroni. So it's an assist for the own goal from Hamill. Uh, to be well, to be fair to him, it came at him very quickly. Came off the head of Colosimo. The goalkeeper had come out, found himself in no man's land. But it was put that down to the quality of the ball from Robbie Fowler. Well, glory ride their luck, and they get themselves an equaliser. Pellegrino whips in a dangerous ball. Here's the ball from Fowler. See, I just made himself half a yard. Difficult ball to contend with. Yeah, no fault there for Michael Moroni. No. 
apologies to Michael Moraney. Of course, Melbourne Hart were the beneficiaries of a very fortunate own goal put in his own net by Ben Kandorowski for Newcastle a couple of weeks ago. So, have uh, had the uh, bounce of the ball go their way. This time it went against them. Taking a bit of uh, wind out of their sails. Gerald Seabond's penalty has now been cancelled out by one of his own players. Good strong leap from Howarth. Troy. Kalmar has room in front of him. Still going, Nick Kelmar. Uh, Rutger Verm waits for Heffernan to provide the overlap. Ignores the run. Whips it in. Well won in the air by Jamie Coyne. Sekulowski is upended there by Schroy. Wayne Schroy, 36 games for Perth Glory. Over a few seasons before he uh, made the switch to Melbourne Hart during the off-season. He'll be very keen to make the most of the opportunities provided by the injury to Josef Skoko. I guess it's a moot point whether those two can actually play in the same team. So Troy will have to think that over the next three or four weeks while Skoko's on the sidelines, he's got to deliver. And he does have the talent. But does he have the consistency, Rob? Well, he's made a pretty good start. He's got a long way to go to fill those boots. Skoko is going to be out for quite a while. Through the worm gets himself tangled up. Gets out of it. But for Shroy, he's going to have a fair old whack at it, that's for sure. Probably another five weeks for Josip Skoko. Made a good start in this match. They lost their way during that very good opening 10 12 minutes. Gary Pellegrino Bolton will get in front of his man Thompson space now for Alex Terra doesn't have a lot of options in the middle one of them was Matt Thompson it was a good driven cross but Watched well by Josh Mitchell. Careless ball out from defence by Neville. Kelmar. Kalafi flung himself at it at the end. He wasn't quite sure whether Seabon might get a touch. There's Tando Kalafi. He had his heart in his mouth. Very close, wasn't he? Seabon cutting across. Just needed any sort of touch. Would have been into an empty net. But again, a good break down that right hand side by Alex Terra. to trouble there Melbourne half and they've got out of it just Fowler drives towards goal and a slight mishandle by Clint Bolton I suggest it was moving in the air went straight at him this is the chance for Seabon Kalmar and Lapi. Very fortunate the Sibon didn't arrive there just half a second earlier. It's a good strike from Robbie Fowler there. Very little back lift. And Bolton probably not expecting him to take the strike from there. Heffernan. Good flick on by Sibon. Well read by Terra. Now Shroy. Seen a lot of him in an attacking sense. He's got forward this time. And Tando Malafi tips that one over the byline to concede a corner. I'm not uh, 
sure whether he needed to take the touch there, the goalkeeper. Lost his bearings, didn't he? They turned over up. It's a cross that's oh, it becomes a shot. Was going out clearly. Puts his hand up straight after. So an unnecessary corner, perhaps conceded by Valapi. He'll be hoping that the no goal will result from it. Ripka Worm whips it in. Fowler clears over the sideline. has done well but Fowler's now isolated that was lovely play there from Jacob Burns in the middle of the park don't give him a lot of credit for his technique but that time pulled it down on his chest and played in Fowler near post ball from Fowler and Yelich did get in front so which will Pellegrino. concern Colosimo Pellegrino was there as well there was a bit of ball watching going on among those Melbourne defenders they were very static I think Pellegrino is the one that got across ball in from Fowler it was Pellegrino maybe should have left it for Yelich Kelmar Morone Thompson. Kalmar's written the challenge of Sekolovsky and kept possession. Sivon. Pellegrino feet of Yelich. For Gary. Moroni's down well. Rook of Erm. Uh, bit too much there of Alex Terra. The ball ended up wider than Melbourne would have liked, but they still kept it. Seabon, here's Terra. Heffernan. Cut out by Coyne. More pressure, though, from the home team. Troy, the dummy from Thompson. Chance here for Rutger Verb. And it was an important block in the end by Josh Mitchell. Well, some nice glimpses though from Melbourne Heart that they're really starting to get to know each other. Their fourth game here. There's a little dummy from Thompson on the same wavelength as Sibon, a little give and go around the box. Alex Terry certainly injected a bit of quality in that final third for today's game. Also some good movement from Kalmar and Troy. Approaching the half hour mark, it's one apiece between the glory and the heart. Penalty from Gerald Sibon. And an own goal from Michael Moroni. 